this is Chris Holland back. I think the Packers actually make this game a little more interesting than maybe people think, but Mike McCarthy gets the last belly laugh. The Cowboys win by two scores. How's it going, everyone? It's Cody. Packers, Cowboys this week. Will it be the week the Packers finally turn it around? I sure hope so, but I'm not confident enough to pick it. So I'm gonna say the Cowboys win 27 to 10. But as always, go Pack Go. Brush Shield with She Said TV here. All right, well, the Packers are in a free fall that we have not seen in quite some time for one reason or another or several reasons. They just can't seem to put it together for four quarters of play. And unfortunately, I think that trend is going to continue on Sunday. I have the Cowboys winning 24 to 10. Hey everyone, Jonathan here. No way we beat the Cowboys unless something really, really bizarre happens. So unfortunately we don't disrupt the Mike McCarthy revenge tour. Hey Packers fans, Jersey Al here with your Packers Cowboys prediction. I'd like nothing more to come on here and tell you the Packers will get it together and spoil Mike McCarthy's return to Lambeau Field. Unfortunately, I've seen nothing from this team that would make me believe that was possible. Add the loss of several key players to injury in the Detroit game, and this is as negative as I've been in a long time about this team. The Packers defense will keep the score at a reasonable level, but Dallas's defense will be a nightmare for the struggling and disjointed Packers offense. This is going to leave a bad taste in my mouth, but I have to pick Dallas here. Cowboys 24, Packers 13. Hope I'm so wrong, so don't book it and go Pack Go. How's it going, everybody? I'm Corey Jenner, John with Cheesehead TV. Cowboys at the Packers on Sunday afternoon. When the schedule originally came out, this game actually looked pretty good. Uh, but now there's a lot of people that are probably deciding between watching this game and raking the lawn. Mike McCarthy makes his return to Lambeau Field after going 125-77-2 in the regular season as a head coach for the Packers. And he was 10-8 in the postseason for the Packers. Mike McCarthy gets a lot of blame. Obviously, things ended really poorly at the end, but let's not forget Mike McCarthy was a very successful coach. And the way things ended, I know he's saying all the right things in the media. Uh, he really wants this one. And the Cowboys can easily get it because the Cowboys run the football really well and the Packers do not stop or defend the run hardly at all, especially, and that's going to be a lot harder now that Rashawn Gary is out for the season with an ACL tear. That's why I'm going with the Cowboys, 34, and the Packers, 16. Have a great weekend, everybody. Hey, I'm Ken Lass. I'm old enough to remember watching the Ice Bowl and all those great Packer-Cowboy rivalry games back in the 1960s. Hey, I have a long-standing hate for the Cowboys that dates back at least four or five decades. How sweet would it be for the Packers to somehow rise to the occasion and knock off Dallas on Sunday? Especially since Lambeau Field is going to be full of Cowboys fans on Sunday. Dallas fans that are buying up tickets that disgruntled Packer fans want to sell because they don't want to go to the game. Man, that would be sweet. I just don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to say Dallas 30, Green Bay 10. Go Pack Go.